do this thing. All right. I don't know between five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Lights, 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 lights. We use coffee. Get that coffee. I got the door. We're open. Now what? All right, here we go. Vlog number two, back by request. So last week we posted our vlog. Everything was great, but I just got to tell you a few things that happened this week before we get into today, because today it's going to be kind of wild. It's going to be fun. The youth, I told you last vlog that there was a gaming night happening in this room and it happened. Check out this clip. I mean, look at these guys. We also, the next day or Saturday, we ended up having a, a killer adopter block. I mean, it was actually rad. Fountain Church, I think it was Fountain Church. Pastor Grant Adams, love that dude. They came out, they served with us, made some great friends. M25 Barbecue was there, hanging out with the best barbecue in the world. M25 Barbecue. We had a newcomer's dinner at my parents' house. It was like, it was actually so sting and cool. I mean, look at everyone, everyone's so happy. Happy people. Okay, but not only that, we gotta talk to Jen, and I wanna show you, it's a really short clip. Jen had a little message, that she wanted to share with the church. That's you guys. So can I just show you this quick clip? It's pretty cool, it's her on the phone, check it out. Tell me how you're feeling, girl, it's been a day. How are you feeling? I'm still just as excited as when I got dropped off. <laughs> oh gosh. Jennifer, I want you to know everybody. I mean, everyone in the whole church is celebrating you, girl. I would like to tell the church that um, I love you all, and I, I want to thank you all because I, I promise if it, if it weren't for God and, and you all in my life, um, and I want to name everybody, but I can't do that. But I, I just, I'm so grateful that you helped bring me here. That phone call is exactly everything we hope to be for everybody. The vision of the Atlanta Dream Center is that everyone could encounter God and be radically changed, that they could grow in their faith and participate in the Great Commission, being part of what God's called us to do, walking out their purpose. And if you heard that phone call clearly, you heard it. She said, I want to thank God and everyone at the church. Listen, that's the goal, isn't it? that people would be radically changed because they encountered Jesus. I'm so excited. I gotta say this to you, church. Everyone who met Jen, everyone who walked with her, talked with her, greeted her, reached out to her, supported her, I want you to know something. You're making a difference in people's lives. I love this church. Huh, well, hey, I got more stories though. Uh, you remember Mayor Ben? While she was dropping off Jen, she actually picked a kid off the street who was outside crying and got him into a program it does, well, actually, this is her quote. It doesn't stop. I mean, look it. I was like, it just keeps going, Yeah, right? it doesn't end, bro. It just keeps going. <laughs> uh, and then there was one more last update you have to know about because I, it was a big deal last week. We flooded our bathroom like two more times. Sunday morning, even flooded after we thought it was fixed. We spent $6,500. $6,500 dollars on our toilets. That's the equivalent of buying 65 bikes this Christmas for people in homelessness. The equivalent to 650 people taking a shower, getting a towel, and new clothes in our church. The bathrooms are fixed. I can't tell you how happy I am. All right, well, y'all caught up. It's Thursday. We had church. We had Wednesday night. It's all been great. But today, we're having share Thanksgiving. So we're actually going to get out of here in just a minute. We're going to go to Costco. We may have complications for tonight. What, what, what's going on? Who, who, who's saying that? Uh, I'm getting a phone call from the guy that works out in East Atlanta Village, so I gotta give him a call back and find out what's going on. What, what, uh, what is the plan for you guys this evening? Uh, well, the plan was to. You see that glorious stuff. piece of hair above his lip called a mustache? Josh is competing with me and a bunch of other men for the best mustache for November. On November 30th, if you tag me personally on Instagram with your mustache, you have a chance of winning $120. Oh, did you, I'm sorry, did you hear me? No, I think I 
think we just went point. Yeah, if that could be cleared out by 7 o'clock, man, that would be perfect. Okay. Yeah, we can make that happen. All right, boss. Thank you, man. All right, no problem. Thank you. Well, that wasn't bad news at all. We just got to be out there by 7? Not a problem. Yeah. Right, wait, wait. Who hasn't been to Costco? You haven't been to Costco ever before, Josh? Have you ever been to Costco? Yeah. yeah. I've never That's even, like the first place I went. Yeah? I've never even seen a Costco. You've never seen a Costco? Not this one. No, okay, so welcome. Welcome to Costco. Your life's gonna be changed forever. Look at the face of wonder. It's like a kid on Christmas. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, am I looking at that first? Right? He was looking at the emergency exits, I think. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I just, I just didn't get an invite, so I was just wondering what, where you're going, Alex. I know well, it's your birthday tomorrow. You so. know, these lovely people here, the people here at this church that welcome me as their, as their family, they're treating me out tonight to eat. Okay, that's great, but I didn't get invited. No problem. I'm the one looking at you, Alex. I didn't get... You want to go? No, I'm busy. <laughs> well, that's another vlog. I'm homeless and I'm feeding people. Come on, dog. <laughs> it doesn't have to be us serving them, it could be us serving us, huh? That's right. That's right.